I got the idea to do this uh, the summer between my sophomore and junior years of college. I was interning at the Barrington Stage Company in the Berkshires. Um, and my mom got me a library card when I was out there for the Pittsfield Public Library. And I went and I got the entire collected works of Tennessee Williams because they were doing Street Carding Desire that summer. That was one of the main stage shows. And so on my lunch break, I read through, I mean, I read through the entire collected works of Tennessee Williams. I think we had read maybe Glass Menagerie at some point in high school, um, but I wasn't super well-versed. And obviously I was familiar with the film. Uh, but it was something about reading the words on the page. Um, and then I started to learn more about Tennessee's life uh, as an artist, as a queer person. And there was so much that I connected to. And specifically, when I read the text of Street Fighting Desire, I really connected to this character, Blanche. And I didn't quite know why. Um, but I remember thinking to myself when I was reading it, I was like, I want to play that role someday. Every time you do a play, you're kind of doing a seance, right? Mm -hmm. Like the, the play script is this Ouija board mm -hmm. and um, you are resurrecting kind of the spirit of whatever this play right intended. And with a non-binary Blanche, we're really resurrecting Tennessee mm -hmm. in ways you just don't do with um, traditional gender casting. Mm -hmm. 